I, I don't know, but if, if the MI15 isn't here, just know that I'm one of the good Muslims. <laughs> I appreciate British culture. <laughs> no, I, I, I used to watch EastEnders religiously. Like, nothing to do with 9 11, I'm from Ghana. <laughs> Ghanaians, Ghanaians can't even fly planes, every single airport. That's nothing, to, uh, that's, that's, a, that's, uh, that's a fact. And so, and also, as you probably would ask if you are here, I, um, you're gonna ask me if I condemn Hamas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's like the new question, isn't it? It's like when we yeah. were in school, it was like, have you lost your virginity, bro? Now it's like, you know, now it's like, do you, the, 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 the real question now is like, do you condemn Hamas? And you know, they said they're sending soldiers from Britain into, into Russia. They said they're recruiting. And I'm thinking, you British people wanna go and fight Russians, have you not seen Rocky IV? Like, have you not seen the Russian youths in Rocky? Like, and the Russians are laughing because they've watched Mr. Bean, do you understand? So, so they know that, they're like, they know that, they, they know that you bring the English, the English youths over, the, the most happiness conversation. And then someone was like, but what about the war that's happening in Gaza? And one guy was like, there's no war happening in Gaza. And I said, you're damn right there's no war happening in Gaza. Because what's happening in Gaza is like genocide. It's crimes against humanity, you understand? It's violation of international um, court of justice. Of course it's not war. War would imply that they had the means to kind of fight on the even front. It's not war in, in the slightest. And the guy was like to me, we were having this conversation around Christmas. And he was like, please don't turn the festive period into something about genocide killing people and colonization of other people's land. And I was like, you're right, we already have Thanksgiving for that. So, <laughs> I wouldn't want to get in trouble for taking something that's not mine, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is there any Caribbeans in the place? No, any Caribbeans in there? Woo! Woo? Wow, just, you just you, just you. <laughs> Off topic, do you say plantain or plantain? Uh. Okay, it's plantain, okay. Plantain. It's plantain, no one else gets this internal wood that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's, it's interesting the way we use language. So you can take the word, you know, child, and you, you know, and you can take the word victim, and you can turn it into enemy, and it completely loses its power. You know, whether it's tomato or tomato, it doesn't change the fact that of what's really happened. Because I believe that children are supposed to sing, rain, rain, go away. But now it's raining guns. Now it's raining bullets. Now it's raining bombs. I woke up this morning and a voice said, speak now or forever hold your peace. Another voice said, if you speak now, they'll forever hold your peace. Mm -hmm. They said, you lose all your relationships. I said, the only relationship I ever cared about is the one with my wife and the man above. And I still owe him tax for every breath that I take. I still owe him rent for every time I see the sun rise in my son's eyes. They said to me, you lose all your followers. I said, that means they never knew who they were following in the first place. Because mm -hmm. for me, I was always more Ali than Cassius Clay. So whether it's ask the audience 50-50, despite all the options, silence will never be one of them because war doesn't stop the violence. Calling it war doesn't stop the violence. It just makes it legal. It just makes it news. It just makes it so Jane Doe and Average Joe can digest it with their Sunday dinner. It just turns children into martyrs and soldiers into builders and guns and bombs into the tools required to build a nation. The irony is I once met one of these soldiers and he was broken beyond repair. So what do children know about your laws? What do children know about your cause? So tell me, what do you condemn? Do you condemn hospitals being turned into graveyards? Do you condemn families being buried after fa under family homes? Do you condemn children not old enough to vote, old enough to become martyrs? Tell me, Flippin Piers Morgan, what mm. do you condemn? Because for me, it's not about what history will repeat, it's about how history we will remember. Once they've made it into a movie and packaged it with a different agenda, will people condemn the stories? Will they condemn all the history books when they change it? Because history is written by the victor, couldn't be any more truer. Will you condemn it when Hollywood takes it and packages it in a more convenient medium? So this is not a poem, this is a timestamp. For all the people that will cry years from now, when it's all over, but didn't do nothing while it was happening. Mm -hmm.